As soon as I got everything together and sat down to film, somebody started mowing. So that's how my day is going. Hi, I'm Michelle and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about my July TBR. I'm really excited because I planned my July TBR around the Life's Library unofficial readathon, which is running through all of July. I think I have 11 or 12 books on this list, so it will definitely be very ambitious, but I'm really excited about all of them. I have a little stack of some of them that I own right here, but I'm also listening to some audiobooks and getting some from the library, so I will insert pictures of those, but let's get into it. As you can probably see on the very top, I have a spreadsheet. There are 16 prompts, which is a lot to keep track of, so I wrote down all the prompts, all the books I want to read, and honestly, they're pretty flexible because most of these books fit for more than one of the prompts. The readathon is set up so that each of the Life's Library shelves has a prompt that is somehow related to the name of that shelf. So going alphabetically, the first shelf, Aloe, is read a book about a character on a journey to heal. For this one, I picked Heart of the Fae by Emma Hamm. I've been hearing a ton about this one lately and it sounds really good. It's a Beauty and the Beast fairy tale retelling, which we'll come back to a little bit later. And in this book, the main character is on a journey to find a cure for the blood beetle plague that afflicts her village. So I thought that this would be a perfect fit for this prompt. I am planning to listen to this one on audiobook. The prompt for Chamomile is a book that helps you relax and I really have been wanting to read manga or graphic novels lately. I'm not sure exactly which is which and what's the correct term, so correct me if I'm wrong totally, but I would like to read Sailor Moon and I'll put who it's by in the description because I can't remember right now and I would probably totally butcher it, but I really want to read my first manga for this readathon and Sailor Moon just it's the manga I always hear everything about and it feels like a really good place to start. I think I'd enjoy it and I definitely think it would help me relax. Singus is a book that is a translation for you so I was debating what to slot in here but I finally decided on Letters to a Young Poet by Rainer Marie Relke. I started watching a booktuber named Emmy and I love her videos and she loves Relicate and she just made a whole video essay on letters to a young poet and I was like, I need to read the, I need to slot this in somehow. So I thought that would be great. It's at my library. I have it on hold right now and it should come in the first week of July, which will be perfect. The prompt for Forest is fairy tale or a fairy tale retelling. For this one, I will also be slotting in Heart of the Fae by Emma Hamm because the audiobook is about 12 hours and it's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, so couldn't have worked out more perfectly. Gold was probably the hardest prompt for me to find and that one is to read a book with a pirate in it. So I settled on The Girl from Everywhere by Heidi Hellig and I'm going to listen to that one on audiobook as well. I really don't know much about it but there is a pirate in it and someone in Life's Library has recommended this book before. So now we're finally getting into the books that I have physical books for and the first is Hibiscus which is a book that makes you feel warm and what can make you feel warmer than Anne Shirley? I will be reading Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery and I actually have started this one but the rule is that if you are not more than 49% finished you may count it and I had a few other books going, one that needed to go back to the library, an audiobook I needed to finish listening to, and one that I'm very close to being done with and should finish today. So I decided to put this one in for July, and if I wouldn't have read this one, I was planning on reading Anne of Avonlea, which is the second one, so I thought that would be perfect and makes me feel warm. That'll be great. Next up, we have Ivy, which is a book you've heard a lot of people talk about. And I have 
Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. This is the one I'm probably most excited about. It will be the first time that I've read Tolstoy and I'm also reading it for Emmy's Dickens vs. Tolstoy book club. I thought it'd be perfect to slot this in. I can read along and keep up with that book club as well as this one and if I don't finish it they are taking it into August so I will have no pr problems continuing reading it. As you can see it's quite long. It counts for four prompts. That's how long it is so definitely very ambitious. I have my bookmark in already because I definitely need to start this July 1st and read it the whole readathon but yes Anna Karenina very excited. I'm also counting this one for the next prompt for Marble which is read about a person from history either non-fiction or historical fiction and they have agreed that it can be more broad than just a person from history it can just be historical fiction. Next up I had to slot in the Life's Library book club pick that will be starting sometime in July and this one is going under Onyx which is a book with a mostly black cover or black in the title so I know you're anxious to see what we will be reading. We will be reading Whose Names Are Unknown by Sonora Bab and this one is about the Dust Bowl and I know that it was not published originally because the publishers felt that it was too close to Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath but someone in my shelf was actually telling me that she originally wrote this novel and then Steinbeck used her notes and his got published and hers didn't. So I'm really excited to read this one. I have read The Grapes of Wrath. I didn't love it. I liked the ending but it was a bit of a slog to read. This one is much shorter and I'm hoping I will like it. And I left it in the box so I could show you what else came with it. As always we got our letter and the cute little book plates. And then the main thing in this package was this history of the Great Depression in America. So it's this really glossy black book with a timeline of the Great Depression. Next we have read a book nestled in your own personal reading nook, whatever that may look like for you, for Pearl. For this one I picked a short story by D.H. Lawrence. I'm going to read The Horse Dealer's Daughter and I really like to read outside as you have seen in my last video so I figured that this would be a good one. I can probably read the whole thing sitting outside and really enjoy it and I just think that'll be perfect. And then Anna Karenina is back because like I said this hunker counts for four points so it's also going under Quartz, which is a book in a genre you read the most. Now I do not read a lot of Russian lit but I do read a lot of classics so I felt like this was the best fit out of the books I had picked. And the second prompt is Red, which is a book that is hard to read whether because of a difficult topic, length, boring, etc. And I think the length alone is enough for this to count for Rose. As promised, Fugitive Telemetry by Martha Wells is making it in in July. This book is perfect for Scale, which is a book where a character seeks justice. You already know how excited I am for this one, so I don't think I really need to say more. Are you still there? You doing good? We're getting to the end now, and the next book up is Tulip, which is a book centered around art, and graphic novels count for that art. So. I'm going to be reading Check Please by Nagozi Yukagu, which I probably just completely butchered. This was on a recommendation, so I'm excited for this one. It sounds funny, it sounds quirky, and it's going to be great. I left Willow Open, which is a book for young readers because I'm not sure if I'll have time to read the second Anne of Green Gables book, Anne of Avonlea, or I might want to pick up a boxcar children book or something like that for my childhood to be nostalgic and fun and short so we'll see how much time I have if I get to all the others. And lastly we made it all the way to the end and the bonus prompt which is pick a book that somebody read in the Lice Library readathon last year. 
there is a list of almost 800 books, so I had plenty to choose from, and some of these on this list actually were also read last year, but I have decided on The Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. Everyone in my shelf has been talking about this one so much. It's a picture book, it's about dragons, it's about tea, and it'll be a nice short one to round out the readathon. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe. I'm going to be vlogging as I complete the readathon and I have the whole month of July. So we're going to do this and it's going to be great. Bye.